be talking you through today how to change the belt on your belt sander, how to put a belt on for the very first time, and how to adjust the tracking if you find that your belt is moving to one side or the other. Let's go. First things first, guys, I want you to make sure that you've got the right belt for your sander. So go to the specification for your sander and check it out. Mine's 100 mil by 610 mil. So when I bought replacement belts for my sander, I just want to double check, yep, that they are the same size, same length, same width, and then we're good to go with those. Okay, before we start, just check that it's unplugged. You don't want to hit the on button and it take your skin off. <laughs> and flip it over. And to remove the belt, if you're going to change it out for another one, um, you want to find this lever on the side and just open that as far as it'll go. This brings the rollers in, releases the tension on the belt, and allows you just to slide it off, get rid of that. Then on your new belt, you'll see on the inside, you've got these directional arrows. So you just wanna make sure that you're getting these the right way around. So mine goes that way. Okay. And you just slide on the new belt and get it nice and central on the rollers and then close the lever. There we go, so that's on there nice and tight. So that's ready now just to plug in and we're just gonna check that it's running nice and true and that the belt's not tracking to one side or the other. So let's give it a go. So before you run the sander guys, I recommend hearing protection. These things are really loud, particularly if you're using it for an extended period. Um, ear defenders are a must. Okay, so to fire up your sander, you want to locate the trigger, mine's here, and I've also got this handy button here which allows me to lock on the trigger so I don't have to hold it all the time when I'm using the sander, which is great if you sand in a big area so you don't get cramp in your finger. So we'll fire it up and then have a look and see how the belt's tracking. Is it running central or is it moving a bit to the right or to the left? If you find that your belt is moving on the rollers, just adjust with the adjustment knob just a little bit until you see it start to move. Keep adjusting that back and forwards until the belt stops moving and it's sitting nice and central on the rollers. If you find that no amount of fine adjustment is getting your belt to sit straight in the middle of your sander and it's always tracking off to one side or the other, I recommend resetting your adjustment knob. And to do this, you wanna wind it all the way out as far as it'll go, oh, and then wind it all the way back in, but count the number of turns that it takes to go from one end to the other. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so on mine it's 22, so I want to go half as many back the other way, so 11. Then if you run your sander again, you should find it's running true or might only need a slight bit of adjustment to get it sitting perfectly in the centre of your sander. So let's give that a go. Once you've got your tracking set, you shouldn't really need to play around with that too much in the future. Maybe just a little bit of fine adjustment now and again. Um, I'll leave the make and model of my sander down in the description box below where you can get that from. It's a nice piece of kit, so I'll probably do a review of that at some point too. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them for me as well. And thanks for watching, guys.